My name is Autumn from the YouTube channel Watch Autumn Keto. I am the founder and host of the second annual Keto Palooza event here in Louisville, Kentucky. Keto Palooza, it's more of a family reunion or a homecoming. There are no words to describe what it's like. You have to be here. Wow, I think is a good word. The atmosphere here, the shared passion. Such a family vibe. Walked in the door, was checking in, and people are like, hey, hey. It's like seeing distant family that you haven't seen in a long time. This is the group and this is the place that you want to be. You can't put into words what happened here this weekend. Some events are bigger, but when it comes to heart and spirit and soul, this blows them all away. Friday started off with a keto meet and greet. This was a way for people to come, talk, hang out, and it was just a way for us to interact together. Seeing people together in one place makes me more courageous. A lot of what we do is online. Being in a space like this reminds me of my why, the actual people, lets us know that we're not alone. We don't care what size anybody is. We love each other and we're building each other up and that's what this community is about. Later in the night, we participated in some keto karaoke. There is no better way to break the ice in front of your family. My husband, Richard, is pure entertainment. Once you see other people not afraid to look silly and just not afraid to have fun, it shows you that, you know what? I don't have to be afraid. I can just have fun. And that's exactly what everyone did. Saturday morning, we woke up, we all met down in the lobby of the Aloft Hotel around nine o'clock. I strapped my keto flag on my back and we walked from the Aloft. We led the crew along the riverfront to and across the Big Four Bridge over to the waterfront of Indiana. When we got to the other side, we had a crew of Keto Palooza fam waiting to welcome us with water, with uh, rally towels and open arms to let us know that we had accomplished something absolutely amazing. After the walk, we had our vendor and sponsor showcase. Keto Chow was our presenting sponsor for Keto Palooza this year. All of our participants were able to sample various products, various flavors from Keto Chow. This was just a time for us to come and visit the various speakers and the sponsors. And then beginning at 3 p.m., we had our speaker expo. We had Chris Bayer from Keto Chow talking about how different fats affect your cholesterol levels. We had Coach Bronson Dant talk about what is fitness and why is it important. We had Joe and Rachel from Two Crazy Keto. They are the practical, hands-on. This is what keto looks like in real life for the everyday person, they made it look good and they made it look aspirational. And then we had a panel of all of our speakers and then we also added Abby from House of Keto as well. The way that she's able to connect her lifestyle to her mission, you feel that with every word that came out of her mouth. It was so impactful, it was so intentional, it was so right what everyone needed to hear. We ended the day with our keynote speaker, Dr. Ken Berry. Dr. Ken Berry is a straight shooter. Dr. Ken Berry tells it like it is. I really don't give a damn how you hear about the proper human diet. As long as you hear about it and understand it, I just want you to have the information. He came and he tore the house down. He spent nothing but straight facts. He is amazing. And I'm forever grateful that he came to this event. Sunday morning was absolutely amazing. Early in the morning, Coach Bronson actually put into practice what he talked about on Saturday. He doesn't clearly just talk the talk, he walks the walk, he lunges the lunge. This man is built. We learned how to hinge, we learned how to squat, we learned how to push and pull, and he was able to answer our questions. He was able to assess our form right on the spot. And then at eight o'clock, we got our butts kicked at Zumba. It was a completely different feel. It was a completely different energy level. And once again, it was a safe space where if you didn't know the moves, you know what? You could just move something, right? It was just where you knew that you were there to have fun and to get a workout and to work up a sweat. It was so great. And 
And then we were able to have our brunch closing session. So we had an amazing meal catered by the Aloft and we moved into our closing session where we really just got a chance to wrap up the weekend and to talk about one thing that we had learned, one thing that made the greatest impact on us. You have more people to relate to and more people to just, you know, hear their stories and understand that you are going through a lot of the same thing. It's the support that I needed. These are real people. These are real lives that are being changed and impacted. Being someone that was so overweight, I think you feel alone. You feel like you're the only one that's dealing with it. And don't worry about being awkward. Like we're all awkward, so let's be awkward together. Just the level of connectedness from one participant to the next. Here, it's like people were looking for a family connection. It feels like a family here. This was a really tight knit community. Yeah, community doesn't work if you don't participate in it. The very last person that spoke was our friend LeVar, but he normally doesn't speak. And LeVar walked up to the microphone and said, hi, I'm LeVar. I don't speak a lot. I just want to say thank you. And now I want to do something a little different. He pulls out a ring box. This guy got down on one knee and proceeded to propose right in front of everybody, just like at a family reunion. <laughs> and everyone is cheering and crying and laughing, me included. It was the best group of people that he could have chosen to do that in front of. And then we were able to move into some awesome giveaways. My mother and my cousin Kim were able to go through and give out some giveaways from some awesome, awesome companies. And then finally, we were able to close the day doing one of my favorite things, and that's recognizing my patrons. I was able to have an award ceremony where I was able to call their name, recognize them, give them a trophy, take a picture with them, and look them in the eye and let them know Thank you so much for the part that you play in making sure that all of this can happen. These types of events are a refresher and a reminder that I'm not the only one out there. There are other people. This is a family. I know people say that and it sounds corny, but it, it just really is. If you're not here, like, get here. Like, come. Just inve It's investment for yourself. My final thought is you can't fake this. Like, you just really can't. This was an absolutely amazing event. We can't wait to come back. This community is so open and so giving and so sharing. There's no way to fake it. You've just got to experience it for yourself. With the proper support, you can do anything. And I know that I have that now, and now the sky's the limit.